we have considered case 1 and case 2. Let's solve this differential equation to help us understand case 3. That is, when the root is complex. Step number 1. Compare to the standard form. Step number 2. Form the characteristic equation. Step number 3. Use completing the square method or formula method of quadratic equation to solve this. Next, substitute for A, any place you see A, you substitute 1, and any place you see B, you substitute 8, and any place you see C, you substitute 41. As you substitute, be careful of your brackets. If you solve this quadratic equation carefully, following every step I have stipulated here, you are going to get this, which is minus 4 plus or minus 5 i here we got a complex root with minus four being the real part of the complex number and five being the imaginary part of the complex number the solution of this auxiliary equation or characteristic equation will now determine the case that we are going to choose for the general solution because we got a complex root, we are going to choose this as the general solution. Hence, my alpha is equal to minus 4 and my beta is 5. Always use this to help you to compare. Finally, substitute for your alpha and for your beta. And this becomes your final result and the general solution to the differential equation. In the next video, you're going to learn how to solve non-homogeneous differential equation, second order. I will see you in the next video.